hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add button inside group by tree view in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so the point that we will be discussing is about how to add a button inside group by tree view in odoo so currently you are seeing the tree view of appointments so i'll navigate to the group by option and i will group the records by patient id field and i'll click on apply so here you can see right now the appointments are getting grouped by the patients and what i'll do is that i'll be showing you about how to add a button here inside the group by tree view that is near to the apple test 7 i'll be having a button similarly for all the records so let's see how we can achieve that in odoo so first of all what i'll do is that i'll go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons and the om hospital module and i'll go to the views folder and i will take the corresponding tree view so if i go down here you can see we have got the tree view of appointment so we have to make some core changes inside this view to get a button inside the group by so let's see how we can achieve that so in order to achieve that at the last part of the tree here we can see we have added header we have added fields and here we have a couple of buttons inside the list view here you can see we have some buttons so after that what i'll do is that i will add a new tag called group by group by name equal to then you have to specify on which field you need to show this button that is on grouping which field you have to show this button so i have to show this button on grouping the patient id field so it is applicable only for many to one field that is it can be applied only for grouping of a many to one field so patient id is a many to one field of hospital dot patient so if i go to the appointment dot py you can see patient id is a many to one field of hospital dot patient so i can use that inside the group by so we have just added group by patient id now inside this we can define buttons so i'll copy a button sample so here we can see we already have a sample of action done simply i'll copy that and i will put it over here name action done and let me remove all these classes i'll remove this class or i'll just keep a free check i'll remove this button success and attribute invisible i'll remove that and i'll make it type object so we have just added a group by name and patient id and button name so right now if you try to upgrade most probably you will receive an error so let's try to restart the service and let's go to the ui i'll duplicate this tab and i'll try to upgrade the module so i think it's not loading let me refresh again yeah it's, if you come to the apps menu and if you try to upgrade om hospital module most probably you will receive an error because we have to define this function inside this model not in the appointment model we have to the button that we define inside the patient id should be inside this model inside the many to one model so here you can see the many to one is patient id is referring to hospital dot patient so we have to define this function inside hospital dot patient model so here you can see the tree view is hospital dot appointment but the patient id is hospital dot patient so i have to define this function inside the patient model so i'll go to the hospital dot patient model and i will add a function here so here i'll write a function diff action done self and i'm not going to perform any action i'll just return simply i will return it from here action done return now i'll just restart the service and i'll try to upgrade om hospital module again so from here i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see without error the module has been upgraded i think upgraded there is no error
yeah there is one error so what button with a fake class so i think we have to remove that class so i'll just remove this class from here there is some warning message is shown so let me just remove that and let's go to the ui and let's upgrade the module again and see what happens so still we have something wrong so let me access from here apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded still we have some error i guess let me clear the log and let me try to upgrade the module once again so what i will do is that i will try to upgrade the module from the terminal run edit configuration so here you can see i am not able to access the oru ui so i'll try to pass this minus d dave db that is my database name minus u i'll specify om hospital i have to upgrade this module click on apply and click on ok now if you restart you can see the module will be getting upgraded and here you can see we have receiving an error action done maybe let's specify the string also maybe something wrong string test and let me restart again so the module will be getting upgraded automatically and still we have the error a button with fa class must have title in its tags parents descendants or have text so i think the error is coming from this one so earlier we didn't have received this error so let me try removing this class So just I'll add a title. Let me see what happens. Test. And similarly, I'll put over here also. And let's see what happens. So I'll just restart the service again. And you can see the module has been upgraded now. So if you go to the UI and if you restart, still there is some problem yeah let me try to remove this url and let me everything seems fine let me try to remove this from url apply and click on ok or restart still it's there you have to kill then restart minus d dave db and it's running now if i go to the ui and if i restart and let me remove this so we are receiving some errors so what i'll do is that i'll try to log out the database by web database manager we have dave db over here so we are getting some errors so let me revert the codes that i have added group by name patient id so i'll just remove the recent codes that i have added and let me go to the patient.py and i'll remove these codes and let's see what happens so i'll just restart the service again and let me come to the ui and let me restart let me try to log in and see what happens so still i am getting an error so we haven't done anything wrong but still title so we have reverted all the things that we have added recently let me restart once again this is some issue with the package so we can just ignore setup tools now i'll remove this and let me refresh there is nothing inside the Odoo log and if you check the browser console inspect and if you check the browser console can't clone undefined template list view buttons so something wrong with list view buttons maybe i'll remove these buttons 
and let me restart and if you refresh no change let's upgrade the module from here minus u om hospital so as i'm not able to upgrade module from the ui i have to upgrade it from the terminal so i'll do it by passing minus u om hospital to the cli apply and i'll click on ok and i'll restart then you can see minus u is applied over here and you can see loading modules every modules has been loaded and if you go to the ui and if you refresh still there is no change so maybe this tree view is causing the problem so let me remove this tree view itself and uh, let's see what happens i'll try to restarting and let's upgrade the module so the module has been got upgraded and if you refresh not sure why it happens with database manager again and i'll log out this database just lo i have closed that tab dev db web logout or i'll move to web login web login so you have log out that database and i'll log in as admin no help i'll try to remove cache maybe let me navigate to a what i can see saving that error so let me try to history clear browsing data clear data and if we come to just here admin you can see upon receiving the cache we have sort of that error i'm not sure why it happens just upon clearing the history that is cache and all everything is back and safe now what i will do i'll just uninstall or i'll just come back bring back that tree view control z i just bring back the tree view again i'll control z control z because we have to get back to our topic so that's back everything is back as we have started now let me restart and see what happens so the module is getting upgraded so we have received error again error validating action done is not a valid action because we have to define this function here also action done so let me restart you can see the module will be getting upgraded from the terminal so the module has been upgraded now if you go to the ui and if you refresh you can see there is no errors so if you come to the appointments and if you check group by patient id where we have started group by patient id click on apply and if you check here you can see a button here called test so if you click on that nothing will happen because we have simply added return so if you add a print statement over here print you and if you just restart so let me remove minus u from there because we don't need to upgrade the module every time apply and click on ok click on ok and if you come to the ui and if you click on test you can see the function is getting executed so i think uh, we'll be better making a separate video on this topic and let's upload this module as a debugging in audio so i hope you follow us and what all things that you have happened over this video and i hope this will be helping for you to how to debug when you receive an error in audio so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you